we've been talking a lot about 2022, and here it is. Now we are about to witness the greatest altcoin season of all time. As a matter of fact, the wheel of time has already started moving. XRP is one of the ISO 20022 cryptos that are said to embrace the new system. More on that coming up in this video. And we're also going to talk about a billionaire who just leaked what Ripple will do come this year. So many billionaires have their eye on Ripple, and that's enough for anyone who's seen XRP from the start to continue holding. Guys, it's time for the festivities to begin. Don't forget to join our giveaway. We will be giving away $2,000 worth of XRP directly to your wallet as a thank you for helping us grow. You can check it out in the comment section below for all the details. The winner will be announced on February 1st in the video right here on Money Side. Before we get down to business, let's roll that intro. Hello guys and welcome back to yet another Money Side video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. To my fam, you know we have so much love for you guys. Thank you. Anyway, remember to like this video and leave a comment in the section below if you find it engaging. ISO 20022 is the new drill come this year and XRP happens to be one of the few cryptos adapted to this new system. Just in case you have no idea of this concept, ISO 20022 is a messaging system that allows more data to be transferred between financial institutions and their network as well. But that's an oversimplification of this tech. It's meant to speed up transactions and also increase security. However, the most interesting part about this tech is that it will allow the inclusion of cryptos into the system, XRP being among them. So if you had any doubts about XRP being a part of the future, I'm here to tell you that this crypto will be around for the long term. XRP isn't going anywhere, and Ripple's tech team has been putting their energy into ensuring that this coin remains relevant for years to come. There's a lot in this article that was published on NASDAQ's website, and it talks a lot about ISO 20022 and what you should keep an eye on this year. I'll highlight some of the best parts that are relevant to our community. Here the writer talks about Bitcoin being in trouble because it's not ISO 20022 compatible, and that's absolutely right. Granted, Bitcoin is the father of all cryptos right now. Since it's almost impossible to upgrade the system without forcing a fork, Bitcoin isn't that easy to adjust, mostly because the owner is still nowhere to be found. That puts this crypto at a slight disadvantage, and we are likely to see a bear market forming soon. Thankfully, not all cryptos are going to face challenges because of the ISO 20022 adoption. Two cryptos, XRP and XLM, are both compliant to the ISO 20022 and have already been included into the ISO 20022 standard body. It doesn't take a genius to know this could only mean one thing, that XRP and XLM are about to go straight to the moon or even higher. NASDAQ is a huge exchange and most people use the exchange to really get their analysis right. If you've watched some of the famous traders, you'll know that they've always had an eye out for what is posted on NASDAQ. Now that this has gone out, we are about to experience an incredible 2022. See? That is why I keep saying this is the altcoin season. If you don't have any altcoins in your wallet, you are about to miss out on one of the best and easiest ways to become a millionaire. I know you probably think I'm crazy right now because Ripple has been in court for what seems like an eternity. Lawyers, according to Jack the Rippler, now believe that the SEC versus Ripple case will be over by April. There's some light at the end of the tunnel. We all know that as we speak, Ripple and the SEC are obviously holding settlement talks behind closed doors because that's market-changing information. What do I mean? Well, if the crypto space got wind of the idea that Ripple and the SEC are trying to settle, the crypto market would crack in too. That's because everyone would be rushing to stock up their XRPs as they wait for this crypto to moon. Let's hope that all ends well. The SEC has broken so many rules just to strengthen their bargaining chip on the settlement table. I do hope that all that pans out. Otherwise, they will lose more than just their credibility. Yep, you heard that right. Let's be honest, how many of us still believe that the SEC will handle this case by the book? As a matter of fact, how many people still believe in the SEC to protect the investors, as they claim? You can leave a comment down below because I know we're all about to have one hell of a heated debate. Anyone who's followed this case will agree with me that the SEC hasn't done anything by the book. They've been changing, retracting their statements as they please, falsifying documents, and even committed perjury just to avoid being wrong. Don't even get me started on the endless amounts of time they've requested the court to postpone the hearings. 
Now, I don't know about you, but that's not what protecting investors should be like, at least not to me. But don't get me wrong, the idea of the SEC to protect investors is an incredible plan. But as of this moment, when it comes to Ripple, it sounds like the SEC has a hidden agenda. My take was that they've been trying to protect Ethereum, while others believe that the SEC is slowing down Ripple so that the government can come up with their own CBDC. Both speculations have strong facts to support them, and there's a high chance that the SEC isn't being honest with us. All in all, we've begun our new year and our first month, and hopes remain high for XRP and other altcoins. All right, that said, time now to take a look at the charts. As you can see, XRP broke slightly below the 50 EMA channel, indicating a sell-off. However, if you look carefully, it did that before as well. And what happened after that? We saw a 1,058% move to the upside. Now, if that plays out again, then we could see around $6.60 per XRP. Turning now to Bitcoin, we look at the chart and see that Bitcoin is building this clear channel formation, which is initiated with the first major wave A to the upside. And after that, moved on with the second major wave B to form this main channel formation. Within this channel formation, of which the wave B is simultaneously consisting, Bitcoin is forming the local channel wave count, reaching from A to E with the waves A to D already completed. The wave C had its origins within this main local triangle formation that formed in the lower boundary range. Such a similar triangle formation is now forming as well, and once this is completed, the wave E has a high likelihood to emerge. When the wave E appropriately emerges, it will be highly decisive on how Bitcoin actually approaches the upper boundary of this whole channel formation. When Bitcoin, in this case, moves on to hold this higher level, there is a solid possibility given that Bitcoin breaks out of the channel and continues with the Wave E extension as well as with the Wave C expansion. In this case, Bitcoin will have the ability to test the main remaining resistance within the $56,000 US, which is still a highly crucial level because this can mark either a strong reversal point or a point above which Bitcoin has the ability to build upon. For now, it's necessary to be prepared for upcoming volatilities and then see how Bitcoin evolves. It will be a determining journey. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, we thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button. Don't forget to take a look at the contest as well coming up February 1st. Turn on notifications, that way you get informed too whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next Money Side.